Hello all, welcome back to B2A and W lab. Today is the third day of switching concepts. Yesterday I covered VLAN and trunking protocol and today I will cover VTP topic. So let's uh, start with some basic about VTP. So VTP stands for VLAN trunking protocol. It is a Cisco property protocol used by Cisco switches to exchange VLAN information. VTP allow an administrator to add, delete and rename VLAN information that is then propagated to all other switches in the VTP domain. Note, uh, switch, uh, switches should be configured with the same domain, domain are not case sensitive. VTP have three modes like server mode, client mode and transparent mode. So each mode have different work. So in server mode, a switch uh, configured in server mode can add, modify and delete VLANs by default VTP in server mode for all the switches. In client mode, a switch, a switch configured in client mode cannot add, modify and delete its VLAN configurations, does not store in its VLAN in NVRAM. In transparent mode, a switch configured in transparent mode can add, modify and delete VLAN configuration. Changes in one transparent switch will not affect any of other switches. It does not synchronize VLAN configuration. So let's start with uh, a basic lab. So we will uh, get more clarification. So I have already opened a uh, lab and I have not configured anything in these switches. So this is a fresh switches. So till here uh, I have already configured yesterday, but today I have removed all the configuration uh, to tell you about the BTP. Okay, so let's select these all switches and turn it on. It will take time. Yeah, almost it's opened. So yeah, let's open this in console. Yeah, this is the core switch. This should also open access switch so before configuration of uh, VTP we required few things uh, to perform the task the, all the uplinks should be a trunk port and uh, from here like E0 by 0 and E2 by 2 in this switch it should be trunk and from here like E2 by 1 and E1 by 2 it should be trunk then it will be work otherwise it can't work so as of now, I have not configured anything. The switches, let's verify the configuration. So it's blank switches. So uh, interface trunk. So if you see there is no any trunk, so VLANs. So there is no VLAN also configured. There is only one default VLAN configuration. So let's verify in SW2, so VLAN. Okay. Let's verify here. So VLAN, there is not configured any VLAN. Let's verify trunk, so interface, trunk. Okay, before configuring, first we will configure the host name of the switch. So otherwise you will confuse config t host name, host name core switch. Let's configure other one, config t, hostname ASW1, config t, hostname ASW2. Okay, so hostname I have configured. So now first task is we need to configure this port as a trunk. So let's try to configure trunk so for trunk configuration you have to select interface e0 by 0 i am in core switch right now so e by 0 e0 by 0 switch port switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1 q and switch port mode trunk switch port mode trunk sorry 
switch port mode trunk okay so for this i have configured the trunk port so let's verify do so interface trunk okay so e0 by 0 it is trunking configured right let's try to configure e e2 by 2 so in this switch we have two port to configure the trunk so i will configure in single command interface range if you want to configure two ports at the same time you have to use the range command interface range e2 by 1 and 2 okay switch port trunk encapsulation encapsulation dot 1 q switch port mode trunk mode trunk let's configure on third switch so interface uh, e1 by 2 let's here interface e1 by 2 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1 q switch port mode trunk mode trunk okay so a step first we have completed okay so let's verify in the all switches so interface trunk so if you see here so it is the e0 by 0 it's configured let's verify here i can exit so interface trunk so here the two port is configured trunk e2 by 1 is the 2 by 1 and it is 2 by 2 okay so in this let's verify so interface trunk okay e1 by 2 is the trunking okay so let's uh, uh, configure uh, let's rename this switch as uh, the this switch this switch is should be server mode this switch in i will uh, add this switch in client mode and this should be a transparent mode so let's uh, put the name trans server server mode vtp server So this is the VTP server and duplicate, make a duplicate, okay. So I will change as client, client. So this is the VTP client and this is the transparent so as we remember vtp have three modes right transparent so this switch is transparent so let's uh, uh, configure the VTP. For VTP configuration, we required few things. I will tell you like VTP domain name, VTP version, VTP mode, VTP password, VTP uh, required. I will make as a note here also. So it will be better for us. VTP configure required. Okay, VTP. Uh, this I have to also delete. There is no use.
so this th few things required for vtp configuration so i will take a note like uh, okay so in first i can exit vtp domain vtp uh, domain so i will take as a uh, b to a and w lab sorry i will take uh, n w lab so here it is showing uh, btp domain name from null to uh, n w lab okay so btp name uh, domain name i have taken n w lab okay and btp is password btp password i will take cisco btp password i will take cisco and this is already uh, server mode so i will uh, configure the btp version btp version 2 so let's verify uh, by default it is in server mode so i have not done anything i will verify so btp status is the command to verify so if you see btp domain name is nwlab and uh, the vtp running version is 2 and now it is in server mode so if you see here so btp in server mode so again i have to configure here uh, vtp same config t uh, vtp domain vtp domain nwlab Okay, VTP password. VTP password Cisco. I have taken in previous one. VTP version. VTP version two. This is also a uh, server mode, so I have to change VTP mode client. I have to put it client. Okay. So this I have taken as client. So let's configure on third one. Config T. config t and uh, vtp domain vtp domain mm, vtp domain nw lab okay vtp password password cisco vtp version 2 vtp version 2 and vtp mode transparent okay so i have configured the basic btp and all and okay so vlan to verify the vlan so as of now we have we don't have any vlans so let's check on other so vlan so if you see here there is no any vlans here also let's check here so vlan so not check here not here vlan configured also so i will verify so vtp status so here is the nw lab and it is in server mode let's try to check here so vtp status so here it is client mode and let's try here so vtp status so here it is uh, transparent mode so uh, we have configured trunk and we have configured the btp so let's uh, try configuring some vlans on the switch so yesterday i have already configured some vlans so i will take the same to save the time so let's configure these three vlans so uh, i will configure 
in core switch, but it will reflect in VTP client, uh, and it will not reflect in transparent because transparent cannot receive the information. Okay, so I will configure in core switch. So enable config config T. I will paste here. I will paste. Okay, let's verify. So VLAN. So as you see here, uh, the three VLANs is configured. But let's uh, verify in other switches. So VTP status also verify. One, two, three. Okay, two and the total. Number of existing VLAN is eight, so it should be also other switches should be eight. Let's verify in client. Enable so VLAN. Okay, so as you see here, so I have not configured any VLANs uh, in ASW1, but yeah, uh, as it is received the VLAN from uh, core switch because uh, the concept of VTP. So let's. Uh, Try uh, so VTP status. So yeah, the total number of existing VLAN is uh, eight. But let's try to check: is it also receive in uh, SW two? It should not receive because it is in transparent mode. So VLAN. So yeah, if you see here, it is not received any VLAN information, and why? Because it is in. Uh, Transparent mode. So transparent mode, uh, it will not uh, fetch any information from other. See so the total number of five existing because the one is the uh, default and four is the FDD VLANs. Okay, so the total number four. So okay, let's try uh, to configure some VLAN here, uh, and it will reflect on <coughs> core switch or not. So VLAN hundred. Suppose VLAN hundred, I have configured. So let's check. So do so, VLAN. So VLAN. Uh, let's two hundred also. So it will reflect some yeah later. So as you see here, it is configured VLAN hundred, uh, but uh, I will check uh, in ASW one. Is it configured any VLAN hundred? So VLAN. So yeah, if you see here, it is not received any VLAN because the transparent mode it will work as for own like it it can uh, configure, delete, and modify, but it can't send information to other. But in VTP client, you can't even configure the uh, VLANs. See, uh, let's try uh, config T config T VTP. Uh, sorry. VLAN hundred, VLAN five hundred. It's three hundred. So see here, uh, I am getting one message: VTP VLAN configuration not allowed when device is in client mode. So as per our theory, we understand in uh, in server mode, we can configure. Uh, add, modify, and delete VLANs, uh, but uh, we can uh, also we can pass the VLAN information to other like uh, in client mode. But in client mode, we can't configure any uh, VLAN. But uh, in transparent, we can configure, mo modify, and uh, delete the VLANs. But uh, it will not uh, reflect to the other switches. Uh, okay. So. That's it for today. Uh, I hope uh, you have uh, enjoyed in this video. Thank you for watching this video.